Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talks. I'm Nathan, and I'm gonna show you guys all about some of the commercial audio speaker mounts we have available. All right, so when designing a new commercial audio system, whether it be for a, a restaurant, um, a distributed audio system in your church, a uh, retail store, anything like that, it's important to think through at first uh, what kind of speakers we want to use. Do we want to use wall-mounted speakers, hanging pendant speakers, in-ceiling speakers, that kind of thing. Then from there, uh, we can kind of think through uh, what accessories are going to be needed to make sure we can mount the speaker successfully. Uh, typically, those are the three types, wall mount, hanging pendant, and in-ceiling, uh, but some different hardware can be needed. Normally, a wall mount speaker um, is going to come with some form of U-bracket or wall mount that we can use to uh, mount it to the wall, uh, but then things get a little bit more complicated. With a ceiling mount speaker, um, some ceiling mount speakers can mount right into, say, a drywall or a sheetrock ceiling just with what they have with the hardware that's basically built onto it, whether it be um, what can be called um, dog legs or basically clips to mount into a hard ceiling. Sometimes we need some ex additional accessories to go into a sheetrock or a drywall or a hard lid ceiling. Um, like in the case of our C3 speaker uh, from Pure Residence Audio, we have drywall mounts that basically go in and clip down onto the, uh, the drywall, speaker mounts into that. Um, or we also have what's called rough-in pans, rough-in kits, or pre-install brackets, which basically it's a bracket that goes above your drywall, uh, lays across your studs, and basically hammers or screws into the actual um, structure itself, leaving a hole in the center, the speaker mounts into that. Um, so a variety of different um, mounts can be available from some different manufacturers. Normally if you're looking at a Bose speaker or JBL speaker, they have JBL or Bose pre-install uh, or uh, pre-construction brackets. Um, when we're going into drop tile or acoustic tile, we have a different range of brackets. Um, normally most speakers can't go into an acoustic tile ceiling without some additional hardware. An exception to that is our Pure Resonance Audio C3 speaker, which does have the threaded back can that can tighten right up, up to um, the acoustic tile, and the speaker is rated for, um, to be mounted into the tile itself. Uh, I will also note with in-ceiling speakers, it's always a good idea to add a secondary safety, um, which may be included with the speaker, um, to actual, actually mount to the grid itself to make sure that you, know, you have a secondary fail-safe in that case. Um, other times, uh, when the speaker's too heavy to be supported by the tile, um, and you're not using a C3 or something light like that, many times we need what's actually called a tile bridge. This actually lays across your two by two uh, or uh, two by four grid. Uh, there are versions that are four feet wide if you have a four by four tile or something like that. Uh, reach out to, that, uh, to us if you have that situation. But basically, this lays across your tile, speaker gets mounted inside and then mounts to the actual tile bridge itself, which helps to support the weight. Uh, sometimes uh, other speakers, rather than doing a tile bridge, may use what's called tile rails and a C-ring. Basically, these tile rails lay across your um, T-bar ceiling, and then from there, the C-ring lays across the rails, mounts your speaker into that. So. That's kind of a, another option that you have as far as drop tile um, mounts go. Uh, once again, it's always important to think through how we're going to do all this, what hardware you need, uh, as well as just the speaker. Um, if you have questions about what you need, um, we always make sure to include all the hardware uh, as much as possible for your system solution. Once again, I'm Nathan. Till next time, guys.